1st of January, we purchased 5 chairs for 10 USD each. And on the 2nd of January, we purchased another 5 chairs of the same type but for 20 USD each. Now on the 3rd of January, we have a customer who is willing to buy 6 chairs. 5 units are going to be multiplied by 10 USD and the last unit is going to be multiplied by 20. And this is an inventory valuation method, so it is only going to impact our accounting records. But it is not related at all to how we physically treat the stocks in our warehouse. One of the lines is going to have a price of 10 USD and the other one will have the price of 20 USD. I'm going to post two goods receipts. So this is our first good receipt. This is the one that we have as first in. And okay, as a storage location is 171C. So now you see we have two goods receipts. One of them is for 10 USD and the other one is for 20 USD. Beginning inventory was zero. Then we did a goods receipt. So our moving average price is 10. Then we did another goods receipt. So the total moving average price now is 15. So six, storage location is 171C. This is the cost center I'm using, post. Here we have a goods issue for cost center of six pieces. This is six multiplied by 15 because this is our moving average. So what I want SAP to do is to issue five units multiplied by 10 because this is our first N and then one unit multiplied by 20. Direct update. And this is the posting date of the financial entry. I can change it. So usually we run this transaction at the end of the month before we generate our financial statements. We have a change in material price. It has a value change of 20. So the total value after this transaction of our stock is 80 and the new moving average price is 20. This is exactly what we need. 